Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. SMIC undertakes the important task of chip production in China, and its chip mass production process has reached the level of 14 nanometers. But there is no more news about the more advanced N plus 1, or N plus 2, or even 7 nanometers process. In the news disclosed by the outside world, the official only explained the mass production of 14 nanometers chips. However, Ling Sunjunka officially stated its position, bluntly saying that 14 nanometers chips have been mass produced in China, and there will naturally be more advanced technology. Some foreign media said, SMIC has started to act. Under the US chip rules, the Chinese have more expectations for domestic chips and hope that domestic chips can break the deadlock and break through the technological blockade as soon as possible. Since most technologies in the chip industry are dominated by the United States, if you want to bypass American technology, you need to start from the underlying architecture. Therefore, Lungsen Jonka developed the long arch architecture by itself. Lungsen Jonka uses complete independent intellectual property rights for the long arch architecture. This is also the first self developed instruction set architecture in China. Long arch aims to provide better technical support for China's computer industry and reduce dependence on foreign technology. Compared with the traditional instruction set architecture, Long Arch is more suitable for the Chinese market and builds an independent information technology platform for domestic software and hardware manufacturers. Based on the Long Arch architecture, Lungsen Junka has designed a variety of chips, including 3A5000, 3C5000L, and so on. The former is a general-purpose processor for PCs, and the latter is a CPU for server scenarios, and its performance has reached the mainstream level in the industry. It is worth mentioning that Lungsen Junka also announced the news of the GPGPU, General Graphics Processing Unit, 3B6000 chip, indicating that this chip is expected to be taped out in the first quarter of next year. Before taping out this chip, Lungsen Junka's 3A6000 is also on its way. Lungsen Junka is a domestic general-purpose chip giant, and its level of insight into the industry is very high. Hu Weiwu, chairman of Lungsen Junka, publicly announced that the domestic 7 nanometers has been successfully developed early, and there are still many that have not been announced. In addition, Lungsen Junka officially stated its position, bluntly saying that 14 nanometers has been mass-produced in China, and there will naturally be more advanced technology. For example, the 3A6000 self-developed by Lungsen Junka, about this chip, Lungsen Junka said on the interactive platform, based on the current judgment, China believes that the performance of the 3A6000 can be compared with 7 nanometers AMD Zen 2, which is equivalent to Intel's the level of the 10th generation core. This sentence reveals a lot of information. First of all, the chip design level of Lungsen Junka can reach the 7 nanometers process, and it can achieve benchmarking with the mainstream products of international giants, such as AMD and Intel. Secondly, Lungsen Junka is a giant in domestic chip design. It has foundry cooperation with SMIC for many chips. The origin of the foundry manufacturer of the 3A6000 chip is still unknown. Maybe it's what everyone expects, or find TSMC as an OEM. 
Before it is officially confirmed, the foundry of 3A6000 is still unknown. However, some foreign media said, SMIC started to take action, and SMIC cancelled the introduction of 14 nanometers technology on its official website, leaving only the introduction columns of 28 nanometers, 40 nanometers, and other processes. SMIC has clearly achieved mass production of 14 nanometers chips. Why should this technology be cancelled? And if it is really going to be an advanced manufacturing process, SMIC also has theoretical and practical support. Liang Mengsong, the co-CEO of SMIC, has long said that the team he brought has conquered 7 nanometers, but there is no EUV lithography machine, so mass production cannot be achieved. However, in the DUV lithography machine that ASML can ship, if multiple exposures are performed, it is also possible to mass produce the 7 nanometers process. The negative impact is that the yield rate is low, the cost is high, and there is no advantage in mass production. SMIC did not rush forward and cancelled the introduction of 14 nanometers process technology and put most of its production capacity at 28 nanometers. This can only explain one thing, that is, SMIC should focus on the development of mature chips. There is a reason why SMIC has deployed mature chips. First of all, Mature chip technology has been widely used in various fields, and the market demand is huge. SMIC's layout of mature chip technology can better meet market demand and enhance market competitiveness. Secondly, the mature chip technology has been developed and optimized for many years. The technology is mature, the manufacturing process is stable and the production efficiency is high. SMIC's layout of mature chip technology can better grasp the technology and improve the level of process manufacturing. Moreover, mature chips have a cost advantage. This chip technology has been developed and practiced for many years, and the research and development costs are relatively low. SMIC's layout of mature chip technology can better reduce R&D costs and improve R&D efficiency. Observing the dynamics of the two giants, Lungsen Jonka and SMIC, one R&D design level has reached 7 nanometers, and the other is focusing on production capacity at 28 nanometers. It seems that SMIC is going back more and more. In fact, the two giants are going to suit themselves. Development route. SMIC needs to move forward steadily and cannot rush into the high-end chip market before obtaining EUV lithography machines. Grasping the needs of the mature chip market can also make the future of SMIC very exciting. If you agree with this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.